Backyard barbecues throughout Washington fired up with the start of summer, but in this area, Korean barbecue is popular and widely available year round. This week in our small business spotlight, Kathy Park found out how the owner of Kojia brought big name success back to the family business in Annandale and found a way to stand out as a newcomer in a field that in our region is already crowded with other Korean barbecue fare. Literally every corner that you turn, you'll find another Korean barbecue restaurant. And now you can add kogiya to the list. Kogi means meat in Korean, and ya is like hey. We thought it fit perfectly. Like hey, it's meat. Hey, it's Korean barbecue. Kogiya is carving out a different direction in the Korean barbecue scene in Annandale. We wanted to make it more hip, more fun, more approachable, and kind of uh, bring a multicultural audience, not just the Korean community, to the same Korean restaurant. This 14-table restaurant started firing up the grills last March and now fills up every night. It was kind of a crazy move to go right smack dab in the middle of all the competition, but we're, we're, we're doing okay. We're making it. Co-owner and founder Sylvia Cho is used to feeling the heat. This former food and beverage manager wore many hats working for Ritz Carlton and Marriott. We really do try to be customer driven and I, I think I bring that with the Ritz Carlton and the training that I got in, in Marriott. Now she's bringing her skills to the table in what's become a family affair. When a family opens a restaurant, it's like all hands on deck. Even though you don't want to get pulled in, you end up getting pulled in. It's just one of those things. You can thank dad, who's in construction, for the decor. The light fixtures are actually bowls that have holes drilled into them. Mom for the food. My mom does all the purchasing here. And even her brother out in San Francisco is doing his part managing the website. This close Korean American family wants to share the best of their culture through cuisine. Here at Kogia, it's about giving the customers options, even allowing them to cook their own food. It cooks on the open flame grill. I mean, it's part of the experience, having the grill in front of you, seeing your cook come out in the raw state, but having it you know, cook to perfection and then being able to enjoy it right off the grill. I'm extremely full and I'm extremely happy. While you can pick and choose your meats a la carte, like pugogi or kalbi, all you can eat is a popular option. And panchan, or small side dishes, are included with every meal. I had a salad today so I could eat. <laughs> like their business model, advertising follows both tradition. So we were doing newspaper ads, we were doing radio ads. And trends. A lot of it is social media these days and, you know, whether it's Facebook or Twitter. They have like the best ratings on y'all. Also, recent mentions in the Washingtonian and the Washington Post are bringing customers near and far. My friend Zach here told me you need to stop by, check out this awesome Korean barbecue. He's like, literally don't eat for the entire drive from New York down to Virginia. We're eating like kings. And I mean, he wasn't lying. Serving up a side of Korean soul food with a dash of old and new influences, ingredients that Cho says are a recipe for success. The fun thing about Korean barbecue is that there's no rules. You can do whatever you want and there's no judging. In Annandale, Kathy Park for Washington Business Report. Thanks, Kathy. When we come back, our roundtable panelists are all fired up about Supreme Court decisions. We'll discuss why they matter to you. Plus, I'll be showing my true colors literally when we sit down at the roundtable. Join us.